Ernie, one of the things I like most about monitoring is getting out of the office, especially on a beautiful day like today. I'm here on Telegraph Avenue in Uptown Oakland, and behind me is Bay Area Legal Aid. They are one of approximately 300 social services agency contractors. Monitoring provides an opportunity for the social services agency to get an up-close and personal look at a contractor's operation the program service side, administration, and finances. Also, the monitoring objective is to ensure contractors are providing our clients with the highest quality service possible and to ensure that they're in compliance with the terms of their contract. Also, monitoring gives us the opportunity to help contractors improve their programs and services by offering to provide technical assistance if needed. The monitoring visit usually includes meeting with the executive director, our administrator, and program staff, and it's usually in a conference room at a table just like this. Also, reviewing a random sampling of client case files, and whenever possible, informally speaking with clients who happen to be on site about their experiences with the contractor. To make the process as easy and non-threatening as possible, we use a tool titled the Corporation Documentation and Governance Monitoring Tool, which contractors are provided with in advance of the monitoring visit. The tool covers corporation documentation, governance, the executive team and management capacity, which includes the finance component, public accountability and internal control standards, which includes compliance with OSHA and the Department of Labor laws as well as the general safety and cleanliness of the facility. Visit the agency's V Drive, the folder titled Contracts Process Training 2014, and the subfolder titled Session 2, Contract Monitoring, to download a copy of the monitoring tool. Whenever possible, we also employ a tag team approach to monitoring, collaborating with our program colleagues and, if applicable, other contracts office colleagues, and we perform joint monitoring visits. Contractors with multiple social services agency contracts especially like it because it means that we're able to complete the process in one visit as opposed to multiple visits. Typically, within 30 days of the conclusion of the monitoring visit, a report documenting the findings of the visit is completed. If the monitoring visit was a joint effort, the findings of all monitors are presented in one report and each monitor must sign the final document. The contractor, of course, must also sign the report. If there are any corrective actions, a plan for resolving them is agreed to and the contractor is usually given 30 days from receipt of the report to become compliant. Failing to do so, could put the contract in jeopardy of termination. The monitor is responsible for writing the monitoring report, sending a copy of it to the contractor and appropriate social services agency parties, and arranging for a hard copy to be filed in the official contract's office monitoring repository. I always end my monitoring on a positive note by giving the contractor staff an opportunity to share any client success stories they may have. Any stories shared are included in my monitoring report. From Uptown Oakland, this is Timothy Roberts. Now back to you, Ernie.